world <laughs> and welcome to the Mecca of Mastery TV I'm your host Mecca if it is your mission to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life then you're in the right place in this episode we are speaking about spiritual development personal development and the topic of this video is how to use crystals for healing let's get straight into the video so if you know me then you know I love crystals honey I live by crystals I'm gonna say this though right we do not need anything. We don't need a sage. We don't need a crystal. We don't need no tarot cards. We don't need none of that. We don't need tarot. We don't need, you know, uh, any of this stuff to, to be spiritual, to be in, in connected with our divine spirit, with the higher power, with the highest, the greatest versions of ourselves. The reason why we need these at the moment is because we are cut off from our true nature. Being that it's chemtrails in the sky, there's chemicals in all of our food, chemicals in the water, you know, we got the devices that is not in alignment, that disrupts our natural DNA. So it cuts us off from those insights, those spiritual insights that we're supposed to get from the universe. So using crystals and anything else, you know, spiritually is what help you awaken so you can get those messages, right? And that spiritual healing, that healing that you're supposed to get that we would naturally get if we didn't have all this disruption to our DNA and to our energy. So in this video, I'm going to show you just the basics of the crystal healings that I use and how to use crystals to heal. So here we go. So first we are going to start off with the history of crystals. So for example, crystals, um, they often form in nature when liquids cool and start to harden. There are certain molecules in the liquid that gather together as they attempt to become stable. They do this like in a uniform and repeating pattern that forms the crystal. In nature, crystals can form with liquid rock called magma cools. So it's basically, in basic simple terms, it's when, you know, you got this form, this liquid, and it hardens and it turns into the crystal. Crystals are so powerful in so many ways because... Holding a crystal or, you know, placing them on your body is, you know, thought to promote the physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. They do this by positively interacting with our energy fields and our chakras. You know, while some crystals are said to alleviate stress and, you know, pain and other things, there's many things that crystals do, like improve your concentration or creativity. So the basic understanding of crystals, right, um, to understand crystals better is when you can understand your chakras as you are looking here. Like we have seven major energy centers in our body. And when those energy centers are off, we are off. So we have energy centers that deal with our, you know, base chakra, our love, our creativity, our sexuality, our, you know, expression and how the truth, you know, insight, clarity, and just belief within ourselves, And so crystals help us to, you know, activate those energy centers in our body because we are blocked off from so much already in the world because of what's going on and what's around us. So as you can see here, for example, let's take the throat chakra for communication and expression. You can take a crystal like soda light and meditate with that, and that will help you to open up that chakra that will allow you to become more truthful within how you live your life and what you do. So when I use crystals for meditation, I do them in so many ways when I'm doing it with my prayer. I'll block out 20 minutes. For example, as you can see here, I'll just lie down and I take whatever crystal I feel I need at that moment and place it on my body in the appropriate area. So like I stated before, better understanding crystals for healing is understanding your chakras. So let's say your third eye is blocked that deals with your insight. You know, it's an illusion around you. You have no clarity. You can't see the truth of what's going on. You can't see that we are in the matrix. Or if your heart chakra is closed off, you might want to use, you know, rose quartz or anything like that to open up so you can bring love and attract love into your life and so you can give love. And as I stated before, the best way sometimes is to understand more about crystals is to first get into what the chakras are about. Because once you know, you know more about the chakras, then it's easier for you to choose your crystals. As you're seeing here, here are some of the, you know, tools that I use, the Bibles, the crystal Bibles I would dive into and to get information and learn more about the crystals. Whenever I choose a crystal, I'll just go to one of these Bibles and read about certain things so I can choose which one benefits me. So for example, if I'm having a hard time expressing my creativity with dance or, you know, getting my message out there, I will go to see, you know, which crystal will help me to express more of my creativity. 
And now what you're seeing here is basically like a little crystal haul. These are my personal crystals that I use on a daily basis. I carry them around with me. You know, I put them in my pocket. I put them in my bra. You know, for example, this this huge heart rose quartz. I sleep it, sleep with it under my pillow. I wear the necklaces. You know, I'll use certain ones on my computer to block out the negative energy and so many things. So for example, as soon as I get a crystal and I buy something and I feel connected with me, this is how I cleanse it. I use lukewarm water and I imagine that the negative energy is flowing away from this crystal. I then take either sage or palo santo wood or both and I go ahead and smudge my crystal. Sage is used for removing negative energies, you know, from your space, you know, from anything, from auras. I sage clothes, I sage crystals. So as I do this, I imagine that the negative energy is being burned away from this crystal. So if anybody else had it before or just anything, if it picked up energy because it does that. After I do that with my sage, what I'll go ahead and do is imagine that there's a light that's going inside this crystal, that whatever I want this crystal to be used for, for me, I imagine it for confidence or love, for example, or this crystal is going to help me to open up my creative energies and help me to just be in tune with myself. And that's what I imagine. Also, you can use pendulums. So for example, here's a pendulum and pendulums help you to, you know, determine whether something is right for you. And you do that by asking it a yes or no question. So as you can see here, I have a crystal grid and I'm going to ask my pendulum, is this crystal grid radiating high energy for me, helping me to gain energy and insight? It's telling me yes, because that's the way my, it goes. So as I spoke about the, um, energy um, crystals or the crystal um, grids. Here's a crystal grid that I put on my daily meditation altar to help me to bring positive energy doing my prayers or my rituals. So also, here we go about crystals grids. Crystal grids been used for thousands of years about so many things, about attracting things and letting things go. So you can use crystal grids for so many things, so many reasons. Let's say you want to let something go. You want to write a letter to the universe or you want to manifest something in your life. Let's say you want to manifest, you want to make $10,000 a month. You write out a letter or some things that you're going to do to the universe. You put that under the grid. You sit it somewhere and you can test it with the pendulum to ask if this is ready in the, the right amount of energy that you want to do. So you can use crystals for healing in that way as well. So, you know, back to the basics. Let's say you want to meditate. You don't have all these crystals that I got. You just got a few crystals. Here I am. I just take my rose quartz or any crystals that I got that I feel like is in alignment with who I am at that moment that I need healing for. And I'll take those crystals. I put them in my hand and I just get straight to business. Close my eyes, get in my zone and just imagine me awakening in that area. If it's hard for you to sit, then lay. Oh, you can lay them on different parts, you know, energy centers in your body, or you can put them around your body, on your body. Me specifically, I love when they are both on my body and around my body. Honey, I need all the energy. So yeah, if you have any questions, just go to the description box below. And I just hope that you find great crystals and you heal yourself. Until next time, I'll see you in the next episode. Love you. Peace. I hope you love this video, right? Make sure that you share this with somebody that you love. Because guess what? We all need healing, don't we? And we all, we always say here at Mecca Mastery TV that we encourage you to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life. So you go out into the world, you kick a whole lot of action. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything. Make sure you download my 21 day healing course. It's so amazing. I put my life into this. I put my heart, my soul, my spirit into this course. You will not go wrong with this course. You stick to it. Stay committed to it. Commit to your commitments. It's in the description box below. Make sure you download all of my free Wheel of Life templates. And if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, email me at MeccaBookings.com or just go ahead and book your free discovery call at the link below. I'm sending my love and my light and my energy your way. Until next time, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Ha <laughs> ha.